Hi, Michael. I'm going to show you how to go through some of your uh, mail tab. So um, you can see that, that some of the emails are going to be coming through. So if you can see, this is kind of my screen, my desktop, and then uh, this is the mail tab at the top here. And I have it connected with my email box. So uh, you'll just have it connected with your own. Um, but I'll just kind of go through some of the basics of it. So in, if it's not sitting up here, the way that you find it is you go to your applications, you can scroll down, and then you find your mail tab, and then you just double click it, and what happens is it kind of comes up to this top part here. So uh, you can kind of, you will close the, the mail section there, and then if you see, when I click this, it'll give me the amount of emails that I have at the top, and it'll also kind of give me like a very quick overview of some of the emails that I have kind of coming in. So and I, I can see down here, you can see that you have uh, a few different options. So yours might be the unpaid version. I uh, opted for the paid version, which is only $3. And then if I click the desktop, then you can see that it actually loads up the uh, desktop version which looks similar to a browser window and then you can see that it has any sort of um, I don't really have any filters or anything in my email box it's fairly simple and then I can also do a chat here if I want to and then you can see that that I have easy access to any of my other kind of Google type uh, things that I want so if I want to switch to my drive or see my calendar or Google Plus, etc. Those are all easily accessible right inside this window here. So if you want to get rid of this window, so you can drag the window here, and if you kind of click, you can move this around, and this will function in the back uh, portion of your of your computer, similar to Mac Mail. Um, and then I can I can resize it, I can close it down, and then if I want to see it again, I just click that mail at the top and then if I want to go back to the mobile then I just click that little mobile image at the bottom here and so um, and if you see it, I'll just press this little tab here and then it kind of gives me all the different filters and all the different boxes that I have set up so this is a really easy way for you to kind of do any of your your emails and then it's a standard kind of email type uh, client so if I go back to my inbox and then I want to write a new one then I can do it here um, and then you can oops you can choose who you want to make it from so I can just do like a pull down there and then uh, I can put in a subject or whatever and again I can have mobile or I can switch to desktop within writing this particular email. So this makes it a lot simpler to um, to kind of write your emails all from one email address. Then you don't have to worry. Let's press close. You don't have to worry about seeing a bunch of different email or inboxes. You just have the ones from your your G or your Google Mail because it's it's actually. It's not your Gmail because it's a, a nomadsplace.com. And then here you can see that you have some preferences. So if you go here, you can also quit the mail tab if you don't want it kind of on your desktop anymore. Um, you can log out so that you can log in with another user. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that per se, but the option is there. Um, and then you can use some of your preferences so you can start at login, um, you can hide the window, which is that kind of uh, the window that, could, that would come up at the startup. Um, and then you can see you can set different hotkeys so that um, you can activate the mail tab, which means that this brings down. So let's say you wanted to um, press shift M and then every time I press shift M, um, being for mail, um, it would drop down all my mail. So it's a really nice, easy kind of a ability to uh, use some keyboard shortcuts. So it just makes checking your mail a lot faster, which is, is quite nice.
and then of course you have kind of your your basic um, uh, settings here and then if you go into notifications you can change you know the the um, the sound some things like that so uh, and then of course your appearance um, so if you set the opacity you can kind of see that you can almost make it invisible I'm not really sure the reason for them doing something like this but um, anyways the option is there and then of course the about which you know it doesn't necessarily matter um, and then this refresh page is getting new mail which is awesome and then if you go back to the home it's kind of another button to take you back to um, your inbox so let's say that you're here you can press your home and it'll take you back to your inbox so it's a really kind of simple way to do it that way um, and then you know you can kind of see to that that I can sign into another account here um, again you won't really need to do this um, oops. but you'll be able to search through your specific inboxes and then you'll be able to see and once you delete let's say uh, an Emmer poll um, at me.com message it'll come out of your total inbox um, number up here so you don't have to uh, delete it twice and you're not bombarded with uh, a bunch of different email boxes and it's, it's, it's much more streamlined and less confusing so that's kind of um, a run through of it it's very very simple and that is it okay I hope that that answered some of your questions. Um, as you can see, you kind of can go through and, and you know set a vacation responder, which is nice and easy. Uh, mobile signature, which is great, um, and and etc. So it's it's really nice and and will streamline a lot of your your emails. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.